Um, All right. Good evening, Woodhounds. How is everyone doing? Whew, it's a hot one. It's a hot one tonight. And yes, Richard Healy, the fire is not quite ready to burn yet because we've got that ash that we're going to test to see how well it burns. So I figured I would wait and start the fire with it just to see how well it takes off. So, let's get this show on the road. We got one million views to celebrate. So, uh, yeah, time to get the live stream and the party started. Uh, thanks for being here, everyone. If you, uh, you're new here, we kick back with all us woodhounds on a Friday night. Put the week behind us, look forward to the weekend. And to start things off, we do a big team woodhound drink. So cheers, everybody. So, oh my goodness, we have got some people in the house. Saw Surgeon, I just saw Saw Surgeon is here. And Tim and Old Saws outside in Michigan's here. Oh my goodness, Firewood Midwest, how are you doing? Is it hot again down there? Oh my goodness, and then here comes the Irish Woodhound from across the pond, Ronan, kicking things off. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's raise our glasses back up to uh, Mr. Ronan. Thank you very much, my friend. Really appreciate that. Cheers, everybody. Uh, and there's Max Air 420. My goodness. That guy, if you haven't checked out his channel, <laughs> go over there and check out his video of him flying this drone around these wood piles out in this field in the woods. I tell you, it's it's crazy. I was, uh, <laughs> it almost made me a little motion sickness when I was watching it, but 
you got some skills flying that thing there, Max Air 420. Let me tell you. So, yes, we don't have the fire going yet. Because what I wanted to do, if you remember back to the video earlier in the week, I had that ash from last Friday that we, uh, we split. And so we're going to see how well it burns tonight after one week of seasoning. Because everyone's told me that ash is like, you know, you can burn it almost the same day. It's like this doesn't need hardly any time to season. So we're going to give it a try. But, uh, but yeah, so hey, Greg Popple, how are you doing? Thank you, my friend. Thank you for that. Yes, one million views. <laughs> oh, Nathan Roof. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Look at this guy. Really kicking us off here. All right. It might be one of those nights. It's hot here in Wisconsin. So thank you very much, Nathan. It was good talking to you the other night as well. Good to have a little chat catch up for everybody. Another team, Woodhound, to Nathan Roof. Thanks again, friend. Cheers. <clears throat> but first, before we get to lighting the fire, I just want to uh, I'm going to take you guys back. Earlier in the week, I had the uh, the uh, opportunity to uh, sit down and do a little video chat with one of our fellow Woodhounds, Matt from Michigan. His son Simon, who is uh, started selling firewood out of his roadside stand. He uh, called me up, we got together online and had a little video chat and he asked me some questions. So I'm just gonna uh, play that for you guys quick and then I'm gonna get things ready to start the fire here because I know Simon is watching and he can't wait to see himself on the Back 40 live stream. So this is gonna be pretty cool for him. So uh, I kind of condensed the interview down a little bit and just got a few uh, highlights from it. So like I said, I'm gonna play that quick now and then I'm going to get things ready, and then we're going to come back and see if this ash is going to burn. So, all right, check this out. You ready? Yep, sure, I'm ready. I have not sold any bundles in three weeks. We have a bad street, and people don't stop. Oh. So what's your advice? Well, you know, I haven't actually sold any bundles in a couple of weeks either. It's sometimes, sometimes it just goes through uh, like stages where, uh, you know, the weather is too hot or certain things, you know. The good thing is, is that if your firewood is sitting there in bundles, then it's all ready to go whenever somebody's ready for it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, making some more or it's going to spoil or anything like that. Should we move to a different location, do you think? Uh, well, otherwise, um, the other thing you could try is you could put a, a little ad up on Facebook on the marketplace. That's actually what I've done is the only thing I've ever advertised is just through Facebook Marketplace. So, and then I just put a little, I put a little picture of the firewood stand, but then I wait for the people to message me for when they want to come and pick it up. And then I give them my address and then that way I kind of know when people are coming. Um, swan, which is better, swan wrap or bags? <laughs> I like I still have a whole box of big box of bags left that once I get through those then I'll probably decide what I want to do. Okay. Why do you sell firewood? Why do I sell firewood? Well, believe it or not, I actually got started selling firewood um take a little to buy pizza on Friday nights. <laughs> what what have you been doing with the money that you've been making from firewood? Just been saving it. Well, that's good. Do you have any other locations? Um, I do not. But my brother, I might be putting some firewood bundles down by his house. He's in another city. Bye. No, no, well, no, no, no. 
Well, you uh, you keep. Thank you, you. Yeah, you keep just. That's the one thing with firewood is that you always just can keep working at it and getting ahead. And if you know you don't have to wait for people to buy your bundles, you can keep making more and just keep working hard and and keep having fun. That's the main thing, right? You having fun with the business? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's good. Cool. So there you go. Simon, once again, it was good talking to you, and you just keep up the hard work, and uh, you'll be selling those bundles in no time. It's just hot. I haven't sold, I still haven't sold any more bundles this week, so. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to uh, see the young kids getting involved in that. Oh, my goodness. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Wolf Ridge. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Huh, look at that. Wolf Ridge coming in. That is here's the, the interview and the Wolf Ridge. Look at this. This guy, I tell you. So thank you very much, Chris. Greatly appreciate that. Cheers everybody. Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. Whew. Wow, that is <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> but um, but yeah, Simon, I hope uh, I just hope you stick with it. Like I said, don't get discouraged, and you know, just keep building up your supply, and you'll be doing fine. And thanks again, Matt, for uh, putting that all together and connecting us up, and uh, for all the uh, you know advice and feedback you were giving me as well. It was super cool. So, uh, so yeah, we, uh, let's get, let's, let's do this. <laughs> uh, what I've got here, hang on. So what I'm going to do is I built up a little, actually, I'm going to switch you guys to the uh, split screen so we can see this fire take off. I got a little fire starter right here that I'm going to use. And, uh, we're going to see if this ash is what everyone claims to be. Now, I will tell you this, um, well, let me go start it, and then I'll come back, and as it gets going, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it's doing. Hey, there's Harry Ellingsworth, that old guy. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me calling you that old guy, but uh, there he is, and Jared Hildebrandt's here, IH Farmer. All right, let me, uh, let me go light this thing up, and we're going to see how this ash does. Oh, and that wood guy. Hey, that wood guy. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right, so it's lit. So here's the deal. So last week on Friday afternoon, I split that ash right there. And when I split it, it was at about 32 or 35% moisture. I let it sit out all week in the full sun. Um, I have seven pieces on there right now, just kind of built up in a little teepee. Um, I did split one of them this afternoon and test it. The inside was at 30%, the outside was at 12 So uh, it did season a little bit during the week, <laughs> but we'll see. Like I said, I know everyone, you know, one of the good things with ash is that it burns really fast, and, or not fast, but it burns, you can burn it quick after splitting it. So we'll give that a little bit to get going. I might have to go give it a little air. I do have, like I said, a base of kindling, um, some oak, and you know some other little scraps in there, some some pine branches. So um, we're gonna see. It looks like it's starting to starting to smoke though. <laughs> so if anything, we'll keep the bugs away tonight. Um, but yeah. So Dan, did I say hi to Danny Likens? How are you doing, buddy? Tom Bryan's here. Adam Carter's here. Who else is all here? It's uh, we got a nice, yeah, if there's anybody new here um, tonight for the first time, if you were hearing um, whispers and stirs around the internet all week about the place to be on the Friday night, 
You found it. It's right here. This is it. <laughs> so welcome. And if you are new here, oh, look at this. Here we go. Oh, I did throw some, uh, <laughs> I did throw a little bit of uh, some sparklers in there. Look at that. She's burning, but, but yeah, if you are new here, you can head over to uh, back40woodhound.com and we have a uh, woodhound map of the world and you can add yourself to it. And the other thing is earlier this week, speaking of the Back 40 Woodhound map of the world, we had someone add themselves from Chile, South America. So we are now, we now have woodhounds on every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> so maybe someday we'll get some, some uh, internet service down there on Antarctica and somebody can tune in. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, look at this. Look at this. This fire is starting to go. This is starting to go. All right. Hey, is, is Whackin' Axes is here. How are you doing, buddy? And Zach, the cowboy, is in the house. All right. Sid's time outdoors. Yes, indeed. How are you doing? Oh, and there is the crazy woodhound from Pennsylvania, Mr. Outside with Shibe. All right, people. This is what I mean. This is the... Uh, this is the Back 40 live stream. Outside with Saib. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. All right, so check this out. That ash is actually starting, well, I don't know. It could be, I did throw a little bit of the uh, inside there. There's a little Wisconsin red oak seasoned up as well, so. Well, oh, here comes the smoke. <laughs> Whew. So thanks again, Shibe. I saw your video today, and I didn't know if you were going to be around or not. But uh, good to have you here. Whoa. Oh, so check this out. You guys remember uh, Chipper, the big shark? That's He's hanging right up here. So inside the mouth of this shark, there's a bird building a nest. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have to get a shot of it sometime here. But, all right, so we got a, we got a fire going, it looks like. Now, like I said, we're going to see how well this ash, after one week, is going to burn. So far, it looks like it's doing good, so. So, I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail picture of, uh... <laughs> he, uh, we, uh... Those are actually, I did have 20 bottles, 20 bottles of wine. And the reason is because I used to, uh, I actually used to make wine a long time ago. So I had all these bottles down in the basement. And some of them, I don't even know how old they are. But uh, I'm actually going to pop a few open because one of these... Of course, I didn't put like labels on, but one of these bottles is like a, a bottle of wine that I made probably, I don't know, seven years ago maybe. That's like, I want to find it, but I don't know which one it is. So we're going to have a little, we're going to have a little wine tasting tonight. We're going to have a little fire with the ash. We're going to have the one million views celebration. Oh, it's going to, it's, things are just getting rolling here and we're already off to a crazy start. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, well, that's the one thing. So, Matt, uh, yeah, it's great to burn, but somebody, um, actually, I, the, the tree service that dropped this ash off, he told me that there's a couple different species of ash, and some are a little stringier than others. Um, so I did notice with this, uh, it, was, it was a little stringier than I thought it would be. But, but yeah, look at that. I mean, heck, that's, uh, that's not bad. So uh, one of the um, things I had mentioned in that video was 
like my backup supply is back there. But if uh, if this ash, like in a month or two, if some of these smaller splits of ash will burn like this, I mean, hey, I might have a backup to the backup, <laughs> which is which is good because you can never have enough wood ready. Oh, and Harry, did I tell you I did get your letter? So I got a little, uh, a little uh, opening to do here from that old guy down there in, in Florida. <clears throat> yeah, so did everyone else have uh, the big heat advisory today? Whew. It was, uh, it was uh, pretty hot here. Pretty hot indeed. I did get a little uh, work, work done in the wood yard, though. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I missed it. That's what she said. I'm going to have to go back and check. <laughs> so check this out. This is pretty interesting. Um, I did not expect it to take off. And, well, I guess we should see. I was a little worried. Um... I was a little worried I'd have to, like, by the end of this live stream, be like, well, we got the ash to burn, but we had to use five gallons of gasoline on it. <laughs> but it's going good. So <clears throat> that is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Hey! <laughs> Firewood, <laughs> Firewood Midwest! Firewood Midwest. Thank you very much, my friend. That is completely, really appreciated. Here we are. Oh, I think somebody is here now. Here's to fire with Midwest, everyone. Let's put their glasses up and give them a big woodhound drink. Cheers, buddy. Did I just see Tom, uh, Paul Dickey? Paul Dickey's here. How are you doing, Paul? PD? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I think there's a heat advisory across the whole country tomorrow. But um, but we're supposed to get some bad storms tonight, so we'll see. I think Larry Cluck, good evening, Larry. You were the one I saw on Facebook that said we were getting some bad storms. So hopefully they don't, they're not too bad. Oh, my goodness. And here comes the Wisconsin, the eastern Wisconsin woodhound, Jared Hildebrandt. Just as you put those glasses down, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time to raise them back up because Jared Hildebrandt, he wants another team would have a drink. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. Maybe it was just the kindling that was burning. We might have to stoke that fire again. And my fire stoker is in the house baking cookies, I think. <laughs> hey, before you go, Wolf Ridge, check this out. I got to show you something quick. This is what I was doing this morning. Check that out. That is coming in Sunday's video, everyone. Just a little preview. Right there, this morning, Wanaka, the Wolf Ridge splitter. Look at that. So... Thanks for stopping by, Chris. Uh, and again, thank you very much for that uh, for that super chat. But yeah, Sunday's video, there's a little preview. And I think I just missed IH Farmer. Yes, we did miss IH Farmer. IH Farmer. <laughs> All right, Woodhounds. It's the one millionth view party tonight, and we are going crazy. Woo! Before the end of the night's over, we might end up like this. Oh! <laughs> All right, cheers, buddy. Thank you very much, IH Farm. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, so Sunday's video, I'm, uh, I have a, I have that great big round that I just showed you. And, uh, we are going to be splitting that down, and you'll see in the video the little twist I have to it. So look for that. And once again, Chris Wolfridge, thanks for stopping by. 
That was awesome. I'm uh, actually I'm thinking my next, I'm hoping my next actually on like live interview on the live stream is going to be Mr. Wolf himself, Chris. Uh, I talked to him a few weeks ago, but he's really busy with uh, opening up his new shop. So as soon as all that settles down, we're going to get Chris Wolf on here live one Friday night. So watch for that. <clears throat> it's, uh, that'll be good. But yeah, he's just, he's been really busy. He's getting his uh, new shop up and running. So life in the 906. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Yeah. So everybody that's here right now, what do we got? We got 108 people and I'm not even sure what my subscriber count is at, but all you woodhounds, everybody else out there, I mean, you guys, this is like, this is a celebration for all of us. Like, you guys are the ones giving the views and, and watching the videos and making them views, you know, pile up. So, thank you very much. And, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to, like, have this uh, all, the whole, you know, I'm not going to, like, have a special little something. I do, I'm going to open up a bottle of wine here, but, but, yeah. Thank you very much. One million views. Actually, I think it's like 1.02. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a... Uh, I just I said to uh, Amanda the other morning, I said, in terms of uh, views on YouTube, you are now married to a millionaire. <laughs> she didn't find it too funny, but <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. Hey, there is Ronan again coming in. Okay, we're getting close to the bottom of the hour, but that's usually the time for a refill. But Ronan, here we go. All right, so Woodhounds, the Woodhound from across the pond in Ireland. Thank you again, my friend. Thank you very much. Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, so, <laughs> oh, uh-oh, I think I'm going to have to throw a little more wood on that fire, although, you know, it's, um, I am surprised, that's not bad for after one week, one week of after being split for that wood to burn like that, I'm, uh, I'm very, very impressed, very surprised. So, all right, let me stoke this fire up one second. So what, what, is JPF in the house? I don't know if I've seen him. That wood guy. That wood guy is right. Ash is cash. That's what he's got a lot of. Ash and maple. The grouper maples. <laughs> All right, so. Now is a good time while we wait, the, wait for that fire to get going again. So, uh, one of you woodhounds, the old guy from down there in Florida, Harry, <clears throat> I'm going to open up. He sent me a letter, and I think it's some stickers to add to the sticker wars, the ongoing sticker wars. It's still ongoing. Oh, yes. We're still letting it ride. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, all right, so Harry Ellingsworth, <clears throat> he, uh, nice, old guys, nail gun repair, and then there's this one, 
So two more stickers. One for Wanaka and one for Khaleesi. Thank you very much, Harry, that old guy. Greatly appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, here, here it is. Check that out. So, uh, so Harry <laughs> is actually a good example of, um, like, just some of the, some of the things about this channel that have, like, blown my mind. I mean, uh, we've actually, we've emailed each other back and forth, and, like, you know, he's just been so gracious to, like, offer me, um, input and feedback and advice on different things, and, I mean, Harry, I greatly appreciate that. That old guys. Old guys, okay. But, yes, thanks for, uh, the stickers, and, uh, thanks for being part of this community and this channel, and, like I said, Thanks for all the uh, advice and feedback, and you know, it's just it's just one of those things. Like, <clears throat> you know, you, you've never met someone, but that you can, you know, kind of get a sense of how they are and the kind of person they are. And when you talk to them, just even through email, it's it's just amazing. So, so I greatly appreciate that, Harry, and I appreciate you for being here. And uh, I do have that big that big round back there still. If you are ever interested in coming to get that. <laughs> or maybe I could meet you halfway. We'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna get. It. I think I'm gonna get it cut up though. We'll see. <clears throat> oh, Jason Becker is here. <laughs> Jason Becker, you are not gonna believe this. <laughs> so, along with my wine, like I used, like I said, I used to make wine quite a bit, and uh, I had a whole like a. A lot of bottles of wine and I just would save bottles here and there from different um, friends of mine that made wine and on special occasions like where is it <laughs> like this occasion right here I still have the bottle of wine from Jason Becker's wedding <laughs> in 1997, I believe, right? Is that when you got married, Jason? Are you, is that like, what, 20, what is it, 23 years ago, would that be? <laughs> but yes, Jason Becker, I still have that bottle of wine from your wedding, believe it or not. That is one I'm not going to open. <laughs> oh, but that's... Yeah, like I said, I got one of these. Oh, <laughs> here's an interesting one of my uh, friends I used to work with that used to make wine. They'd make their own labels as well, and they made a wine called Vulgar. <laughs> Don't be a tasteless bee. <clears throat> but one of these bottles of wine back here is, I think it might be this one. I made this batch of wine once, blackberry, blackberry wine. Oh, and it turned out good. It was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was some of the best wine I ever made. But then I also made a batch of wine once that was, uh, turned out to be some of the worst wine I ever made. And that's what's mixed in here. And I don't know which is which. So, we're going to try to find out. Right here tonight. <laughs> so here we go. This might this might actually be it on the first try. Mm. And we're <clears throat> here in Wisconsin when you make wine, when it's homemade wine, you don't you don't pour it out in a glass to sample it, you just drink out of the bottle. That's not it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Out hey. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? I think I'm missing Outside with Scheib and Jared Hildebrandt. The Woodhound Tag Team is coming at us, folks. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Everybody. Raise those glasses up. To out to uh, who was outside with Shy and Mr. Jared Hildebrand, right? Yes, geez, chat's flying by. Keep track. 
Cheers, buddies. Thank you very much, my friends. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dennis. Yes. Don't worry. As soon as I'm done here, it's going it's going right back into the basement. Down into the cellar. <laughs> so... Unless it's the stuff that is no good, <clears throat> then uh, then I'm getting rid of it because I actually might start making some more one of these days, and I could use the bottles. All right. Hey, the Kelly's Country Life. Have a good night, my friend. Stay cool this weekend. <laughs> Todd Lacey. <laughs> oh, Todd Lacey, <laughs> the next the next live stream I'll be drinking White Claw. No, 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 that's not, I'm not that wood guy. <laughs> hey, Jason Becker, holy smokes, all right, hang on, I gotta make another, I gotta make a beverage. Holy crap, I'm slipping. Although, we could use, I could sample this wine for the cheers. Oh no, I think that's the bad stuff. All right. Oh. And I gotta grab a little mix. Oh goodness, we're getting behind. We're gonna we're gonna have to do another combo. Jason Becker and Richard Healy. <clears throat> All right, Jason Becker, Richard Healy. Thank you, my friends. We're refilled. We're ready to go. So, Team Woodhound drink to Jason Becker and Richard Healy. Thanks again. Cheers, everybody. Yes, my Woodhound Senior. He used to make some wine too. We uh, we dabbled in a little bit of a little bit of wine, but I think this is the the bad stuff I was looking for. Oh yeah, that stuff is. It's not that it's bad. It's just really really strong. <laughs> I think if you finish this bottle off, you might wake up blind in the morning. I don't know. But uh, Paul Proud American, hey, how are you doing? And John, hey, <laughs> again, I won't try to say your name. <clears throat> but um, I don't even know. Maybe this might be it. We'll do one more. Oh, Ohio Woodburner. How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you tonight. How uh, how's the weather down there in Ohio, and how's the uh, how's the sales going? Pat F. <laughs> Paint stripper wine. That's about what this could be, actually. I don't even know what it would do. It's uh, it's it's <laughs> oh, Big Bear. Hey, good evening, Big Bear. Oh, yes. Hey, Simon. Good night. Have a good weekend. And uh, thanks again. Maybe uh, at the end of the summer, we'll see how your sales are doing. We'll do another little video chat, another check-in. <clears throat> Fern Hill Farm. The weather in Ohio sucks. <laughs> how are you doing otherwise, my friend? Good to see you here. <clears throat> Uh. Oh, that's not bad, actually. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how well this stuff is actually 
actually tasting. Might need to chill it a little bit. One time, uh, one time I, I made a batch of wine and I <clears throat> the uh, the batch hadn't quite finished fermenting, but I bottled it all up and I corked it and I put it in this rack in my apartment and. Uh, <laughs> nope, hang on, I gotta finish the story after. Outside with Shibe. <sighs> Outside with Shibe. Once again, my friend, thank you very much. Cheers, everybody. Outside with Shibe. Woo! <clears throat> but during the middle of the night, I started hearing this pop and like water falling and another pop and another pop. And here, because I bottled the wine too early, the it was fermenting inside the bottle and it popped the corks out and dumped the wine out all over my apartment. <laughs> oh, so yeah, some fun times were had making wine, let me tell you. <clears throat> so, <laughs> uh, but the, uh, <laughs> what is, oh, yeah, I just got to keep the, like I said, I don't know why, I don't know why I, uh, I didn't label the bottles and keep track of it, but that's just the way it is, so. <clears throat> so yes, what else is all going on around around the Woodhound world? <clears throat> yes, Kevin Mason, I hear you. It's uh, it's it's actually it's actually cooling off pretty good tonight right now. So so um, but yeah, sometimes it just feels too hot to have a fire. It's uh, hey, stay. Who is that? Terry Williams, Terry Williams, I do have uh, 50 hours service on my tractor already, and today I believe I turned over hour number 84. So it's getting close to uh, the 100 hour service that I'm going to have to do here in not too long. Yeah, it took a while to, uh, to get to that 50 through uh, March and April, but then after the 50, it's, it's, uh, the hours are racking up fast. <laughs> oh, that wood guy. No, 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 my friend. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Maybe some uh, twisted tea. Hot Rod Dave, what's the story on that pond pool? Um, I built it last year. Um, I had I had built a pond there before, um, but then I redid it last year to what it looks like now. I actually have a couple videos um, up on the whole transformation. So, so yeah, if you want to go go check out the uh, the video playlist, and you you should be able to find that. Uh, the pond transformation, I think it was called. So, yeah, check that out. It was a it was a little bit of a project, but it turned out pretty good. We had an old. Uh, it used to be a farm here, and I had a, a silo. There was a silo built right there, so there was this big silo pit. And at first, I turned it into a uh, actually a fire pit, and then we turned it into that a pond. So that big circle you see, that's the old, uh, what's left of the silo that used to be standing here. Creative Red, how are you doing? <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think that one bottle that I, that, I think the first bottle of that wine I opened is actually uh, 
was actually the, the stuff I was looking for. But the rest of it, the rest of it I think I might have to uh, water the hostas with. See how they grow. <laughs> and there is... Mr. Boss Man. The little boss man is here. How are you doing? You want to say hi? Yeah. Cool. Hi. You got to look at the green light. Here, I'll hold you up. <laughs> He's getting big, getting heavy. <laughs> you gonna go swimming? No, oh. not yet. Not yet? When are we lighting the firework off? I don't know. Hey, thank you very much, Saw Surgeon. Appreciate that. Have a good night and a good weekend. <clears throat> Yeah, are you talking about the the wine, Harry, or the fireworks? <laughs> put put it. Oh, we need. Actually, we do need to put a little more wood on the fire. Yes, little boss man is. Uh, that's right. someday he is. He is getting to be the big boss man. Big boss man. There's an old uh, WWF name. Alright, let me toss a few more pieces on this fire. Hang on. Did you see that? Uh, you see that piece of ash I just picked up there? The one end of it is hardly burned at all, so it is kind of is kind of struggling to burn. Oh, hey, what the heck? Outside in Michigan, outside in Michigan, you've been swinging that double bit, Van Dusen. I hope so. <laughs> all right, Woodhounds, outside of Michigan. Thank you very much, my friend. Greatly appreciate that. So everyone. Let's raise them up, give a big team Woodhound drink outside of Michigan. Cheers, buddy. <clears throat> hey, Corey Riley is here. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? Yeah, there's a uh, Thomas Livingston. Livingston, sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, Travis, Travis Cover. Good to hear that your your little guy is doing good, doing better. That's great news. So, uh, yeah, hope he uh, hope he continues to feel better and is doing good. Good to see you here, my friend. <clears throat> yeah, Corey, uh, I don't, I've, are you in line for the, uh, the storms tonight, Corey? I heard there was, like, gonna be some, some high winds moving through, like, early tomorrow morning, so, hopefully everybody stays safe out there with this storm front that's coming through, but then it's gonna push through, and then tomorrow we're supposed to be back up to, like, 93, 94 degrees or something? I don't know. Look at that fire going now. Ho, oh ho! Woo. <clears throat> Daniel Atkins, did you, uh, this, oh, that's the other thing I was going to tell you guys about, the, um, and Daniel Atkins, you reminded me of that because I saw you posted over there on the Back 40 Woodhound, uh, forum, so if you do go over to back40woodhound.com, check out the Woodhound map of the world and all that stuff, but there's also the new forum, that you guys can, we can, you know, interact, share some stories, share some pictures. And, uh, <laughs> something just happened over there. But, uh, it's pretty cool to be seeing, like, you know, some of the topics you guys are coming up with and talking about, you know, like, everybody's roadside stand or different things like that. And I think after Sunday's video, there's going to be another topic for discussion. So... 
So we'll see. But yeah, it's good to see good to see all you guys here. Storm is staying north. Oh well, that's good. That is good. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna hopefully stay north of us too. So if it's north of you, it should be staying north of us. So that is good. <clears throat> good news. So once again, everybody, what time is it here? Oh, we got ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes or so left. Hey, yeah, I think. Try try this. Well, we'll wait. <laughs> I think I found that bottle I was looking for. My fire stoker is now out. Out here. So I was gonna see if she wanted to sample this wine. <laughs> Yeah, that ash was actually, it's burning, but if it wasn't directly in the fire, like it didn't, it didn't, the ends of it didn't burn too good, but I'm surprised, I am surprised. I think maybe after a month or two, that, uh, that might burn pretty good. Oh, Sid's time outdoors, and outside with Shib. My goodness. <laughs> you guys, you crazy, crazy woodhounds. All right. Tits time outdoors. Outside with Shad. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much, everybody. Team Woodhound Drink to the Woodhounds. Cheers. Yes, thank you for that. Like I said, the one million views, I don't know if, I think it was, was it last week? Um, I thought that it would be, I was hoping to hit that mark right around the time that it was the one year on YouTube, which is the 30th, coming up. And yeah, the lights, those lights are flashing because... For whatever reason, that's the way they turn on at night. They flash like 10 times. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so I was, I was planning to, my goal was to, by the time I hit the one year mark, July 30th, I was hoping to have that milestone of the 1 million views. But it came early this past week. Thanks to all you woodhounds out there. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey Kent, have a good weekend, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good uh, rest of the night. Oh, and Jared Hildebrandt, Jared Hildebrandt, the Woodhound Convention Fund. It keeps growing. Hopefully, we can get things figured out for it. <laughs> so, Woodhounds, here's to Jared Hildebrandt. Thank you very much, my friend. I never know how the the audio is with that music. I don't know if the music is too hot or too loud. We'll see. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that. And uh, just checking. What's you okay? I think the boss man took a little spill down the stairs over there or something. Whew. Now I can feel that fire burning though. It's uh it's uh getting kinda hot. Got some oak on there. <clears throat> so yeah. One million views. Like I said, it's I was thinking to have the combo party of the one year and have it on the July thirtieth. <clears throat> but here we are. <laughs> what a <laughs> Oh, Joe's firewood videos. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, Kevin Mason. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Yes, it's uh I don't know if I missed did I miss a miss a question here? I don't know. 
All right, Corey. Hey, Corey Riley. <clears throat> Have a good weekend, buddy. Larry Cluck. I actually, I did cut. I didn't actually try the pine that I had before. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I've been, uh, I've been meaning to do that. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll maybe test that. I'm going to do a little, uh, I got another little video coming up next week. So maybe that's going to be something I'll check into. So. <laughs> uh, early October. Yeah, well, you know, Dennis. Um, the thing is, is that the end of September is my birthday. So end of September, early October. I just don't know how, you know, <clears throat> I don't know how everything's going to be with all the stuff going on out there. So we'll see. We'll see. Dwayne. Hey, thank you, my friend. And thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being part of the, uh, the Back 40 community. Have a good weekend, my friend. Michael White, old timer. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, so Larry cut some pine on May fifteenth, and it's burning great. Was it uh, was it standing dead, or was it? I think it was. I think I, I remember seeing that. Yeah, it just depends. Um, you know, just depends. How uh, how small did you split that stuff when you uh, when stacking it? <clears throat> that's the one thing like that uh that ash that I split I mean I I only split probably two and a half to three inch square um you know little little rounds so yeah if you split the stuff down small you can get it to season pretty quick it's it's kind of crazy especially like back there I have full sun on one stack all day long so it's uh like I said the outside of that ash was 12 percent but <clears throat> but that's kind of expected if you just you know you split something and it'll dry out pretty quick on the outside Isaac! <laughs> Isaac Reichard is here in the house. Better late than never. That is so true, my friend. So true. We got a few minutes left. So, you know, you can uh, hang out here. Hey, that wood guy. Take care, buddy. What is he got going on here? Yes, thank you, my friend. Good seeing you. Uh, good seeing you here tonight. Have, got an oh, he's got an early morning. That wood guy is going to be up and at it early in the morning tomorrow. Well, that's good. That is good. Echo Glenn. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, so, oh, Matt, they actually, <laughs> they were in, Amanda was making some cookies, and Boss Man was doing something, and now I think they went for a quick walk with Gemma, take her for a walk. Isaac Reichard, oh my goodness, look at this guy, look at this guy. He comes in here late, and then, boom, wishes us all a great weekend. So uh, here's to you, Isaac, and all you woodhounds. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that fire stoked up a little bit here for when they uh, when they get back from their walk. Yes, I will say hi to boss man. I will uh, when he gets back here.
Hot Rod Dave. Oh, splitting till 10.15 last night. How are the bugs? That's the one thing I noticed. Um, like, at cer a certain time in the evening, man, the bugs come out really bad. But what the funny thing is, and I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, um, when I have my splitter running, the bugs aren't that bad. And I don't know if it's the uh, the sound vibrations in the air that, like, keeps them away. It's kind of crazy, though. Like, I can run that splitter, and, like, there's no gnats, there's no mosquitoes. and But the minute I shut it off, if I'm, like, loading the bucket or stacking wood or something, they just swarm in. Swarm in. Hey, Jeff Stacy. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs> oh, well, that's good that the bugs aren't bad. That is good. <clears throat> because, yeah, <clears throat> like I said, it's, it's, but, it, but like I said, it's kind of, I've noticed that if I'm running the splitter in the evening, like, the bugs aren't that bad. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed sometimes on my videos, like, you can see the phone, the vibrations from the, like, the vibrations from the engine, the noise, will actually shake the phone, like, just slightly. So, so yeah, and speaking of splitting, again, coming up Sunday morning, the, uh, the video with this right here, wait till you see what I did with this thing. That was this morning. So, wait till you see. Like I said, I have a little, uh, I have a little something, a little twist to it that everybody kind of gets to participate in, sort of. So, so Sunday morning, that video is going to be out. Hey, Travis, have a good night. Yes, say hi to the wife and the little wood hound. And again, glad to hear he's feeling better. So, have a good night. Have a good weekend. <clears throat> So yeah, I think, uh, oh, outside with Shibe. Outside with Shibe. Thank you, my friend. Once again, Woodhounds. Outside with Shibe. Last call. Just throwing it out there. Cheers, buddy. So once again, like I said earlier, just wanted to say thanks to everybody. Um, obviously, I wouldn't get any views without all of you. So, Adam Carter, good night. Tony G, good night. Have a good evening. And I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to, yeah, woo, outside with Sean. Hey, Ronan, you enjoy the evening as well, my friend. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's time for everybody's favorite song, everybody's favorite jingle. Let's bring that up here. Where is it? The closing. <laughs> oh, I don't know how, how this is actually playing. <clears throat> but once again, thanks, everybody. I uh, appreciate you all being here. appreciate you all being a part of the channel, part of the community. Uh, it's it's a great, a great pack of woodhounds we have. So enjoy the rest of the weekend. So a great blast up one last time for uh, one million views and all of the uh, super chatters, all the moderators, and everybody else. Cheers! Stay safe, have fun, and be cool. Thanks, everyone. Good night.